They think that by silencing the messenger, they will silence the Lord. There are folks in churches today who slander pastors. There are people on YouTube that slander pastors. The odds are greatly stacked against pastors ever succeeding in today's churches. 90% of pastors have been betrayed, falsely accused, or hurt by their trusted friends. 70% of pastors battle depression. The amount of broken hearts and sad lives and human loss that they encounter on a daily basis. No wonder that 70% battle depression. 80% of pastors feel discouraged. Gee, I wonder why. 94% of pastors' families feel the pressure of the ministry. Pastors are so busy with everybody else's lives in the church, in the community. A pastor averages 55 to 75 hours per week, but the Lord is blessing them and their riches are not of this earth. So you're gonna go after him and say he's gay. You're gonna go after him and say he's a closet homosexual. You are gonna go after him and say he is inappropriate with his daughter. No Christian would ever attack a pastor in this way. Never. You do not agree with his teachings doesn't mean he is not a man of God. It is appalling to even think that you would sit there and talk this way about a man of God. The amount of people that he prays with, the amount of people on email that contact him who are hurting and needing spiritual guidance or shoulder to cry on or all the work he does in his community visiting elderly, visiting people sick in the hospital. I know for a positive fact of all the things that Pastor Mill does behind the doors. He has more dignity than any of you all put together. And how dare you just sit there and say the things you do. You disgust me.